hey what up decisive marketers because of the ongoing pandemic a lot of us are working from home and so we are having more online virtual meetings and i think that in some ways virtual meetings are great because you can automatically um, record them and i think one of the the biggest um technology advancement is in this area is that you can actually have tools to transcribe and automatically take notes for you doesn't that sound like a great idea and that's what today's tool is all about it's called lexis and it's a i would say it's a transcription and meet uh uh i would say like a meeting assistant right uh, a meeting assistant that take notes for you um and this tool is very convenient um it's very simple too but uh you know it it, it just saves a lot of your time uh with this uh it's called lexis but before i dive into lexis be sure to hit that subscribe button if you like to see more digital marketing and e-commerce content so here we are in lexis very simple dashboard right here Okay, what you want to be doing first is, um, of course, let me take a look here. Uh, of course, I like to <laughs> put up my own photo in here so that, you know, the dashboard doesn't look so boring, right? So let me just put my photo in here. Oops. I guess this is the largest size that we can have. So never mind, we'll come back to this later on. And uh, uh, firstly, of course, you can have uh the google calendar uh integration they have hotmail calendar integration coming soon and then you can connect with zoom as well as google meet okay so with lexus you have these integrations right here so firstly before you get started is that you want to actually um set up some memo templates so some of the memo templates so for example like the ux interview Okay, so let's say you are having an interview uh, for a prospective, uh, you know, new team member, then these are the ones that, uh, this this would be like a template that you want to put out. So template would be like, uh, you know, certain topics that you'll be talking about during the meeting. Okay, so for example, the background, uh, the user workflow, the user pain point and any other software uh maybe like integrations or something like that okay so these will be the topics and what happens is that you will then put in keywords within this individual topics right here and for example so uh user workflow will be like online note transcript record memo schedule insight so whenever uh you you or the person mention any of this uh keywords it will then be automatically highlighted as a memo right automatically highlight highlight as a memo so i'm going to show you an uh, example right here these are some of the uh sample transcripts right here so this is the uh meeting right here so um so the purpose of this car is to do a demo of uh so i guess this should be call right all right call is to do a demo of lexus our uh, product which is a online which is an online meeting assistant so before we get into the interview questions we would like to get some background uh some background of, of you right so you can Good job uh i'm a designer and i'm uh, measuring interaction design uh, in the graduate school uh, program. So this is the meeting that is uh, recorded, right? And automatically, because uh, it mentions online, right? So then you have the background right here. Okay. So, and then, uh, so my day-to-day -day job is to create some like design, some program and some research related to that and also to do the user testing. So I guess the keyword testing um, probably brought up uh you know into the memo right here so it's automatically being recorded so and then what happens is uh in the insights you'll be able uh, you will then be able to see for example a uh, recording uh under this particular template okay you will then be able to see uh in general um like the 
important i mean you can actually analyze uh, your meetings right so under the user workflow then you know these are the these are the memos under user workflow right so for example you are, you are having a um, meetings with your designers and uh maybe like over a month you can analyze them and look through all the memos uh one shot right so this uh kind of saves time for you okay and you can download them as well okay so uh so setting this up so there are a couple of ways that you can um you know have these meetings transcribed would be the firstly uh you can just hit record and you can start recording okay or you can upload a meeting session right can upload the audio or uh you know the video and uh you know it will be recorded as well sorry you can upload a audio and it will be uh transcribed as well or you can import a zoom recording okay uh and of course you can just record and directly with uh, google meets and it will also be recorded in here so what i'm going to be doing is i'm just going to hit record and i'm going to read something off the internet right here um it's called uh it's called classroom of the elite right and, I'm, and it's it's a uh, sort of like a prologue on equality so i'm going to read that and then i'm just going to stop somewhere but we'll see you know how it works okay so i'm just going to go here and start recording okay and let's see how it goes okay okay the structure of japanese society it's a bit sudden but listen seriously to the question i'm about to ask and think about the qu uh, answer carefully are people equal or not these days all society loves to talk about is equality people are calling for men and women to be treated equally and shouting for society to get rid of inequality they call for high unemployment uh, high employment rates for women personal use cars for everyone and they go as far as to find fault with the order of the register of names people even advocate equality for people with disabilities and now the public is encouraged to stop using the term disabled people children are being taught that everyone is equal is that really true i wonder men and women have different roles if they have different abilities people with disabilities are still disabled no matter what term they call disabled people none of this has meaning if no one pays attention to it in other words the word the uh, sorry the answer is no people are unequal beings there are no truly equal people a great man once said that god did not make anyone above or below each other but that doesn't mean that everyone is equal the, do you know that the passage doesn't end there the rest is like this everyone is equal at birth but then i ask why are there differences in people's job and statuses that was written in the second half of the passage is it a difference because one struggled with academics or because one didn't try hard enough a difference is created here that's the famous scholarship studies these teachings haven't changed at all even in modern day 2015 however the situation is more complex and is more becoming serious anyhow people are beings that are capable of thinking i don't think it's correct to say that people should live on only using instincts because things aren't fair in other words the word equality is full of lies and falsehood but inequality is also unacceptable i was trying to find a new answer to the eternal problem facing human beings hey you the one who's holding this book and reading it have you ever thought about the future have you ever wondered what it means to go to high school to go to college have you ever felt that it was vague one day 
you would somehow find un, uh, employment and get a new job. I felt that way. When I finished compulsory education and entered high school, I didn't notice anything. I only felt joy in being released from my duty. I didn't notice that at that moment, my life and my future was being impacted progressively. I didn't even understand what it meant to be studying Japanese and mathematics at school. Okay, so there we go. So this, so one thing seems really um, cool about Lexis uh, is that as I am reading, it is transcribing for me. So uh, as I'm reading, the the text shows up, right? The text automatically shows up. Okay, uh, right. So I don't have to, um, you know. So I can put. Okay, add new speaker. Let me just put myself. Okay, Henry. And then I can just select. Okay, so one thing cool is that with Lexis, um, compared to some other transcription tool that we have come across before, is that they are. How do you call it? They only process the entire transcription itself. It does not uh, transcribe on the go, right? So that's something to take note of. With Lexis, uh, as I'm reading, it's, it is already transcribing um, as I speak. So that is something cool. So as I mentioned the word equal, uh, our, our people equal or not these days, all society loves to talk about is equality. So, right, um, it gets it appears right in here, and an equality for people with disabilities. And now the public is encouraged to stop using this term. This, a uh, book, people, children are being taught that. Okay, where is that? Oh, disabled. So it it didn't it didn't understand what I said. So disabled. Can I edit this? Okay. So you can edit the. Uh, you can actually edit the what do you call that the you know the transcription right so if it transcribe incorrectly you can edit that okay so every any time that i mention the keywords equal is going to put out the memo right here right so um this is kind of similar to spoke where it's called uh highlights but spoke does not automatically um, create those highlights for you so i think that this is actually a very good uh feature to have um that you know lexus is is you know doing right here okay so that's kind of what lexus does um it's a very simple tool right here um i think that it is um i think that this this is this is pretty good as well. I mean, when you when you move your cursor, um, it auto scrolls to the timestamp, right? And you can also change. Um, it's loading a little bit slow, so let me just. Okay, let me just try one of the older ones here. Okay, so I guess it takes a while for you know the audio to load correctly but um, that's why it does uh, you know as you click on it you know automatically um, you scroll through the timestamp right and then you can change the play speed <coughs> you can change the play speed uh, you can save your transcription um, I think that Overall, um, this tool is quite straightforward. I don't think there's much to say about it, um, except that 
I think where it stands out from some of the other transcription too, uh, they they do desperately need to have the vocab feature um, added in, uh, so like your own vocab. So they they should even um, tag the voc vocabulary to the meeting or memo template directly, so that um, you know the it gets a little bit smarter with the uh, more accurate with the transcription as well um, I think that's the only request that I would say I would ask for um, also video uploads that's going to help tremendously as well uh, and I, I guess that's all I have to share right um, I think overall it's a it's a decent tool um, very affordable compared to other transcription tools. Uh, it's gonna save you save you time going through your meetings uh, note uh, notes again. Um, I guess that's all I have to say. If you enjoyed this video, do give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think about Lexis in the comments below. And if you know anyone who could benefit from a meeting assistant transcribe uh, transcription tool, be sure to share this video with them. And I'll see you in my next video.